So if you've never tried heart, whether it be elk heart, deer heart, a lot of people overlook them. A lot of people just throw them out with the gut pile. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is the Outdoor Conquest where we do everything hunting, fishing, everything outdoors related. But today, you could see from the title, we're cooking a heart. More specifically, we're cooking an elk heart. Not long ago, we got back from Colorado, uh, had a successful elk hunting trip. So if you're interested in more um, recipes and stuff like that, uh, wild game specifically, leave me a comment in the comment section because I wouldn't mind doing some more. But right now, I'm just kind of filling a void area where we don't have enough ice to ice fish. My options are super limited because the boat's already put away and winterized. Hope you guys enjoy. Stick around. All right, everybody. So what I like to do, you got your whole heart here. I like to work it from le from the point. I'm going to call that the point on over towards the bigger end of the heart. And I like to work it that way. It just makes it easier. And then um, as I go, I'll clean up some of this stuff here. So right in there. And slice. Um, you know, no more than a quarter inch thick. That's the max. You can go thicker. Some people like to cook whole hearts. Um, see, then you get a nice little piece like that. Just like that. So we're going to go through and trim the whole thing up here. And then uh, take it out to the frying pan. All right, guys. So I trimmed them up a little cleaner than I initially had planned. I took all the fat off. I mean, if you look at this, this stuff, I mean, it's, it looks like backstrap. It's so lean. So I wanted to try something a little different. Normally I keep it in the rings. So they look like little onion rings, but this time I just went ahead and uh, trimmed them up. That's really all I do. Salt and pepper. Hit it with the salt and pepper. Roll it around in there a little bit. All right, now let's take this outside and uh, get after it. Got the cast iron with the uh, hot grease. That's all you got to do is just get them in there. Now we'll let those set a minute, come in here with a fork, flip them over, then they're done. All right, guys, it's been about a minute or so, and this grease is so hot that it ain't going to take long. One thing with anything wild game or fish, guys, anything wild game or fish, you do not want to overcook it. And a lot of times when people say, oh, I don't like wild game, they don't taste good or it's tough a lot of times they're not cooking it right now a uh, little secret I'm using bacon grease I actually just cooked some bacon earlier utilize some of that grease normally I use butter um, fill the bottom of the pan with butter as you can see it's not like it's a pool of bacon grease just enough to fry that and uh, you'd be good to go Let's give that a couple more minutes and uh, pull them out of there. Here it is, everybody. Some nice, thin, sliced fillets of heart here. And we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Mm. You can't just have, like, a small bite. You got to go right in for it. Mm, that's good. No. Now you could go as far as marinating and doing all that type of stuff, but man, salt and pepper, maybe throw a little garlic, a little onion in there, you know, whatever you feel like, whatever seasonings you like, that's your choice. I like to keep it pretty cut and dry, and uh, salt and pepper does the best for me. And it looks like Duke wants to try a little bit. So uh, what do you think, buddy? You want to try a little piece of heart? He does.
joke easy well he just found it that's a good boy so I'll give you another look at it here but you know when it's cooked it's a little so so here's a texture like it's a little bit like I'll call it rubbery but it's so tender I mean it's perfect I won't lie it's got a it's got a little different texture it's not just like steak but regardless delicious Colorado elk fresh heart you can't beat it so like I said a super simple recipe salt pepper get some oil in a pan fry that and it comes out perfect again add any type of flavorings you'd like you can actually marinate them uh, I haven't gone that far with it because I like it just the way it is so again if you guys like these videos uh, cooking videos I've only done a couple now so if you like them leave me some comments I won't know unless you guys communicate with me in the comment section so appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>